crystallography has been behind the most major advances in medicine, transport, energy and technology in the last 100 or so years. My name is Aruna Nelson, I'm a senior software developer and I work at the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center. I work on a database product that's got over a million structures in it and the work I do, I'm so proud to be able to say that I allow people to be able to search for these structures. This crystal structure has the potential to make a difference in our world and it is just one of over a million crystal structures stored in the database which I work on. Let me show you some of the other work I do. This is the molecular representation of vitamin C and as you can see the software allows me to add labels for things I'm interested in. I can also change the view and look around the model. The software I write enables scientists to test out ideas that can make a change in our world in areas such as green energy materials and life-changing medicine. So my job is to make the database easy to use and search. Uh, in the past, they would have to have run these tests manually. They can now have access to millions of structures at the tip of their fingers, and which will save them a colossal amount of time. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I work on improving the searchability of the data and also the usability, so it's easy for scientists and researchers to discover these new structures. I've always loved science. I studied science at A-levels, and then I worked at the Royal Society of Chemistry for six years. When the opportunity came up at the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center, I immediately knew that it would be a good chance to combine my interest in the sciences with working in a software development team. If you're considering a career in chemistry, you can afford to keep an open mind because you can use your chemistry in many different ways. For example, I use mine to help me in my job as a software developer. We're constantly learning about the world around us and chemistry helps us to understand uh, what we have and how we can use it to make advances in healthcare, food and transport. 